Being told you have muscle invasive bladder cancer can be very scary. However, your doctor and medical team are there to help. Your healthcare team may discuss what to know about all your treatment choices. They will also tell you about the possible risks and side effects of each treatment. Your treatment choices will depend on how much your cancer has grown and can involve bladder removal with chemotherapy or without chemotherapy. What is a bladder removal? Cystectomy. A cystectomy is the surgical removal of the bladder. There are two types of cystectomy, partial cystectomy and radical cystectomy. For partial cystectomy, the tumor is surgically removed and the remaining bladder is sewn back together. A partial cystectomy is done only in very specific cases. A radical cystectomy is when the entire bladder is surgically removed. This is the more common treatment for muscle invasive bladder cancer. Because the cancer has grown into the muscle, the doctor will remove the whole bladder, nearby lymph nodes, part of the urethra, and the prostate in men, the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and part of the vagina in women. Other nearby tissues may also be removed. Because the bladder is removed, the urine must be diverted using a piece of intestine, and this is performed surgically during the bladder removal. Bladder cancer can spread to the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are the fatty tissue around the pelvic blood vessels. For a pelvic lymph node dissection, the lymph nodes of the pelvis are surgically removed. A pelvic lymph node dissection is used to find out if the cancer has spread beyond the bladder into the lymph nodes and is believed to be an important part of the operation. A pelvic lymph node dissection may also be done to treat cancer if it is only in the lymph nodes. Bladder Removal Surgery Your bladder can be removed by a robotic or an open approach. There is no major difference between the two. A robotic approach uses computers and small instruments to aid the surgeon during the procedure, resulting in smaller incisions. In the open approach, the doctor makes one larger cut in the middle of the abdomen to remove the bladder. You may have side effects after most muscle-invasive bladder cancer treatments. Here is some of what you may expect. Pain, change in bowel function, leaks from the stoma, infections, hot flashes, sex and fertility issues. Make sure you talk with your surgeon about how your sexual function and ability to have a child may be changed by the operation. Next steps. Routine follow-up is very important. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider as they will need to assess you for some time after surgery. Assessments can include some or all of the following. Imaging, such as a CT scan, about every six to 12 months for two to three years, and then once a year. Laboratory tests every three to six months for two to three years, and then once per year after. Kidney and liver function tests will be a part of these tests. Assessment for quality of life issues, such as urinary symptoms and sexual function. For more facts about bladder removal surgery and bladder health, visit urologyhealth.org.